Tax tips for young professionals. Are you a young professional that's just starting to handle your own finances? Now that you're making more money than when you were in college, what do you do with it all? How do you plan on saving it and spending it? In this video, I will reveal some essential tips you should consider towards your first big investments. Number one, how do you plan on saving your paychecks for retirement? When you have a steady flow of income, make sure to put a portion of it away for when you retire. The first financial investment you make once you start earning should be a registered retirement savings plan. You might think, I could just be putting my money in a savings account. Why do I really need an RRSP? An RSP would be beneficial because the amount you contribute is tax deductible at 18% of your prior year's earnings or a maximum of 24930 whichever is lower. If you have another 30 years until retirement, why is it better to start saving right away using an RSP? Because you get the most money out of an RSP when you start early and it keeps growing with a rate of return. The longer the funds are sitting in the RSP, more income is accumulated. For example, if you invest $5,000 in an RSP when you are 30 years old, assuming an 8% of return, 30 years later it will be worth around $50,000. But if you invest $5,000 when you are 20 with the same rate of return, in 40 years it would be worth around $108,000. In both examples, you'll be about 60 years. But when you invested 10 years earlier, the cash accumulated is almost double. Either way, it is a good investment because this money is growing tax-free while it is sitting in an RSP. But the earlier you invest, the higher the total return. Number two, your first big purchase as a young professional. For most people, it's either buying a car or a home. But what if you could buy your first home sooner if you post buying a car? A car is not an investment. Let's say you want to buy a car that is $25,000. Next year, it will already be worth 20 to 40% less. After five years, it's almost worthless. It's a depreciating asset. But let's say instead you use that $25,000 to put a down payment towards the purchase of a $250,000 condo. If condo prices continue to appreciate by 5% per year, for example, then your condo will be worth $276,000 next year. This represents an economic gain of $26,000, which is completely tax-free, so long as your condo is your primary residence. Number three, buying your first home. When buying your first home, consider the home buyer's plan. This plan allows you to borrow up to $25,000 tax-free from your RSP savings. Without the home buyer's plan, you would have to pay tax on the amount that you take out from your RRSP. Be mindful that you're only borrowing the money. You would still need to pay it back into your RRSP. For the first two years, there's no payment required. After that, you must pay 1 15th of the balance each year for the next 15 years. Also, you receive a tax credit of $5,000 when purchasing your first home. So here's the tip. Once you are able to, make sure the first thing you invest in is a registered retirement savings plan. It is not only beneficial for retirement, but also for buying your first home. Consider the cost of a car versus buying a home. Put your money into something that gains in value versus something that depreciates in value every year.